Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for another Titus Diorama and Toy Reviews. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the X-Men Marvel Legends Gambit from the Build-A-Figure Caliban Wave. As you can see, Gambit comes in the standard Marvel Legends window box packaging, which allows you to see the figure inside the packaging, as well as having some nice comic book art on both the sides and the back, as well as all the other characters you need in order to build Caliban. And again, I do like that they're using uh, actual comic art and not product shots of the actual figures. With that stated, guys, let's go ahead and get him out of the packaging and take a look. All right guys, so here we have Gambit out of the packaging. And I really quickly want to talk about the accessories that he comes with. Uh, so he, as you can see, he does come with his staff. He does come with a flaming card effect that just slots into the uh, hand that comes on the figure. And of course you can swap that hand out uh, for his card throwing hand as well. I think that they did a really great job on the sculpt work. I love what they did with the shoes and the legs. Uh, that's really cool, very unique. Uh, this does scream the 90s uh, Gambit uh, from the cartoon. Um, the articulation is fairly great on this guy. Uh, he does have a, a ton of mobility in his head. Um, his shoulders do a full 360. Uh, they can go above 90 degree. I wish that they could have somehow incorporated a butterfly joint, but of course with the jacket that uh, kind of hinders being able to do that. Uh, one of my gripes I have with this figure, though, is that he does not have a double-jointed elbow in the arms. I wish he did. Uh, and while we're on the topic of the actual arms, I wish that they would come out with a jacket that was fabric so you could remove it and have the same matching arms as the rest of his suit so you had two different choices uh, to display him on. Uh, but other than that, I mean, you always pretty much seen him in a jacket anyway and a lot of the things that you've seen him in. Uh, in the um, cartoon and in the comic books, so I get why they went with this. Um, I do have some issues with some of my joints being really stiff, um, so I'm not going to show you all the articulation on this guy, but we will run through. Uh, he does have the ab crunch, which is hindered a little bit uh, going backwards due to the jacket, of course. He has the uh, swivel at the hips, he has the uh, swivel at the upper leg, and the swivel at the boot cut. Um, he has double jointed knees. Um, he does have a good range of pivot uh, and um, movement when it comes to the feet. Um, his hands, of course, can swivel and they do have the hinge on it as well. Um, he can do the splits, again, hindered by the actual jacket itself. I think the paintwork on this guy came out really well. Something I do want to point out about the paintwork is, as you can see, the peg for this hand is the same uh, translucent pink as the effect is. And basically what they did is they just molded this entire hand in that same uh, translucent plastic um, and just painted it. And I think they did a fairly good job of painting it to make it look like uh, his normal hand. Um, so good on them for that. Anyway, guys, I hope that you liked this video. If you did, by all means, go ahead and click that like button. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, by all means, go ahead and click the subscription button and also click on that bell notification so you can be updated with any new content that I do release on my channel. I try to release a new video every Friday or every other Friday for you guys. And as always, guys, stay nerdy.